Congratulations, you have made it to part 4 over the series on how to create your own Android launcher slash home screen application. By the end of this part, you will get to this point, where all of the icons are sorted in alphabetical order, and there is a label underneath each icon. Let's dive right in. So, last video we created an image view for each item in the grid view. And this was all done in Java code. But now we're wanting to add a label underneath each icon. And the best way to do that is not to do it all in Java code. But the best way would be to create another layout file which will contain a single drawer item with an image view and a text view all inside of a linear layout. And then once we have that we can inflate it into each item of the grid view. You could do this all in Java code and not use an XML file, but doing it this way is a lot more efficient. So go into your res slash layout folder and right click and say new Android XML file. Now let's call this file drawer underscore item dot XML. And we can keep this a linear layout. Now that we have that up, let's change the width to wrap content and the height to wrap content. This may not make much of a difference, but it could change things. Now let's set the gravity into center underscore horizontal. Now inside of the linear layout, let's create an image view. And let's set the ID, Android ID equals at plus ID slash, let's call this icon underscore image. And let's set the width and height. So Android layout width. And let's set this to 65 dp. And then we'll also do the layout height. And we'll set that also to 65 dp. Now let's set the padding to 3 dp. Now we have an image view set up just like how we had it before in solid code. So now let's add the text view. So text view. And then let's set the ID. at plus id slash icon underscore text. Now let's set the width and height. So let's just copy this over onto the text view and change it. So change the width to wrap content. And then, what we're going to need to do for the height, we're actually going to set it to a solid value. And that's because if there's multiple lines, which I'm going to set the max number of lines to two, um, some images could be set to one line, and some images could be set, or could have two lines. And this can be a problem because then each item in the grid view would be different size. So if it's a different size, Android grid views do not support items with different sizes. This can cause multiple problems. So let's set it to 40 dp. Now I will set the max lines. So Android max 
lines equals two. And then Android gravity set it to center underscore horizontal. So now we have the basic item for the grid view made. Make sure that you save jar underscore item dot XML. Now go into drawer adapter dot java file and inside of this file the first thing that we're gonna do is above get view we're gonna create a class called view holder. Now we're gonna set this up in an odd way in order to increase performance for the grid view. Um, there's an article on developers.android.com called Making List View Scrolling Smooth and it talks about using a view holder. So if you want, you can read up on this. So let's make the view holder class. Static class view holder. Um, inside of this class, we'll store a text view and call it text and we will store an image view and call it icon. Now, inside of the get view, the first thing we should do is set the um, initialize the class that we just made or make an instance of it. So view holder um, and we'll call it view holder with a lowercase letter at the start. Now what we're going to do is create a layout inflator. This will uh, be used so that we can inflate the jar item XML file. So let's do layout inflator li equals and we can't just say git layout inflator because we're not in the main activity class but there are multiple different ways to um, and alternatives to that but what I'm going to do is do a casting method of layout inflator and then m context what we initialized earlier dot git system service and inside of git system service we do context dot layout inflator service now we have the layout inflator set up so the next thing to do is something that we did not um, get into last video and that is with the convert view. That is what this is right here. View arg1. So let's change this to convert view. So convert view is basically the item of the grid view. So what Android will do is whenever the item is out of the view, as in it is scrolled out of view, it is displaced and set to null. So instead of creating a new instance of the view every single time it asks for the view, instead we can recycle it. So to do this we can say if convert view equals equals null then we can do convert view equals li dot inflate and it's asking for resource and root. The resource is r dot layout dot draw item and then the root we can just set to null. Now it is initializing the convert view 
if it's null. Underneath, we can put view holder equals new view folder. So now we're creating the view holder. Now and we can initialize each um, item inside of the view, view holder. So text and icon. So type view holder dot text equals then cast to text view then convert view dot find view by id and then we we named it r dot id dot we named it icon underscore text and then we do view holder dot image or icon equals and then we'll cast it to image view and then convert view dot find view by id and then we named it r dot id dot icon underscore image now we have all of the text and icon set up now we're going to do something a little bit odd but it's used in order to increase performance so do convert view dot set tag and we set it to view holder and then um, we add an else right after if convert view equals null we add else and we put view holder equals cast to view holder then convert view dot get tag all right so now underneath this um, we don't need any of this except the set image drawable and for the set image drawable instead of use image view we do view holder dot icon dot set image drawable and then for the text we can do view holder dot text dot set text and then packs for adapter position dot label and so now it set the label and then we instead of returning image view we just return convert view So now we have drawer adapter all set up for now. So now you can see there is a label underneath each icon, but they are not sorted in alphabetical order. So let's do that. Right click on your package and click new class. Let's call this class sort apps. Then click finish. Now we're going to create a method called public void exchange underscore sort exchange sorting is just an algorithm for sorting and there are many algorithms and this is just one and then we're going to have to pass in the packages from main activity so type in main activity dot pack and then the square brackets or an array then packs